Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, I will be talking about three animes in particular. So, spoiler alert ahead, if you have not seen the full story of these three animes in particular, I suggest that you either click off the video or come back when you have seen the full story. These three animes in particular are Death Note, Code Geass, and Attack on Titan. I feel like a lot of animes follow the same template where the protagonist conquers over the evil forces trying to take over the world or who have murdered his family or something else in that similar direction. Anime like these are great, no doubt about it, but I feel like it does not really represent the reality of life, where the concept of good and bad depend on your culture, religion, financial situation. Basically, good and bad differs from person to person and depends on the person's own experiences and point of view. In this video, we will be talking about anime that have their main character take up the mantle of antagonist and why these animes are so interesting, good, and so fun to watch. This video will be separated in three parts. The first part will explain in detail how the concept of good and bad is dependent on the watcher's perception with examples from each anime named before. The second part will talk about how these animes differentiate themselves from the regular template. The third part will explain why I love animes like these and why I feel like they stick with you a lot more. Part 1. The concepts of good and bad are just human concepts based off of our own collective reality. What is deemed good is because it seems to be helpful and does not harm society as a whole and gives everybody some ground rules of what is acceptable and promoted. What is deemed bad is just as important to society because it lays ground rules for everybody on what not to do and what you should erase from yourself. However, these concepts differ from area to area. For example, the US and Japan do not promote the same values and have different views on plenty of subjects. In anime, the concept of good is bad is based off the perspective of the main character and the world that the author builds. In Code Geass, Lelouch is the villain. However, he seeks to free the world from Britannia's reign. Also, to do so, he has to kill a huge amount of people. We see his intentions as good because we see that Britannia is bad. However, to the people of Britannia, the main power, their security, his actions are horrendous and pure evil. He is seen as good by the people that he is trying to free and bad by his opposition. But the opposite is also true. In Death Note, Light uses his power to rid the world of criminals. People who have been judged as bad by society's norm. His intentions are good theoretically. He wants to create a safer world where criminals are not allowed to live and he is able to somewhat achieve that. Many criminals end up stopping their life of crime to be safe, as in they don't want to get killed by light. However, the methods he is using are deemed as bad. Killing people is bad, but he's doing it for the greater good of society. Many people in the Death Note anime get behind light's ways and accept what is going on. If the police had accepted his actions, then society's norms would have changed and seen his actions as good. In Attack on Titan, Aaron becomes the villain once he learns the truth of the outside world. He learns that Marleans are the ones creating Titans and sending them to kill all Eldians. All Eldians and Marley are treated as scum. And the parallels between Marley and the Eldians and Germany and the Jewish people is incredible. It is the exact same situation. Aaron decides that for the greater good of everybody, he must rid the world of everybody. Genocide on a planetary scale. Some people see Aaron's ways as good and get behind him and help him achieve his goal. Other people try to get in his way and stop him because they deem that his actions cannot be tolerated. I know that in the AOT community, Aaron's actions are not supported by everybody. Some people want him to be stopped and some people want to see what the world had coming to them. Again, we see that good and bad depends on everybody's own perspective and experiences. All the actions of these villains could be legitimized if everybody accepted that what the others did warranted these outcomes. So basically these animes really make you think about society as a whole and how their actions could be seen as good or bad depending on which side you're on. Animes like these usually differ from the regular template. They portray the other side of the story. They don't go the usual route and create a hero who wants to save the world through the power of friendship or through words. They show the harsh reality of things. They show a closer similarity to real life than to a fictional story. People have to take gruesome, concrete actions to achieve their goals. No censoring, just plain evil. 
In Code Geass, Lelouch not only has to kill many Britannian soldiers to accomplish his goal, he must also sacrifice himself for the peace of the world. After The death of this character is not something that sticks to the regular template. In Death Note, Light kills over 175,000 people because he realized that there is no other way to change society. As he said, there was no other way. He accepts that to become better, to heal the world, the world must suffer the death of evil people to flourish. That is something which is different from other animes. Usually the main character would not tolerate such ways and hope to find another solution. But sometimes the harsh way is the right way in anime. Coming to accept the harsh reality of things is something that sticks out from the regular format. In Attack on Titan, Eren understands that the only way to save the world and exterminate the hate is to exterminate everybody else. Many characters are against this outcome and Eren goes on to do it by himself for the greater good of everybody. If Eren had only sent enough titans to end Marley, some people would have survived and the whole world would now fully retaliate against Eren and try to kill him. Hatred would have kept going. Instead, Eren decided, let's kill everybody and start fresh. Animes like these are really characterized by how far the villain is willing to go to help people. All of them have good intentions, however they know that there is no other way to accomplish their goal. It really is nice to see characters have actual critical thinking and understand that sometimes the heart dish must ensue. It is a lot more realistic and gives you a feeling of reality and can make you understand so many situations which happen all the time in the real world. I like these animes because they not only show you how good versus bad depends on the perspective of the watcher, but they also differentiate themselves from the regular template, which in combination creates great realism and parallels to the real world, and gives you point of views you would not usually see or even agree with if it was real life situations. Animes like these are one of my favorite genres. I love a great action-packed anime, but sometimes a well-written psychological anime is what is needed. I love animes like these because they really make you think about the real world. And yes, the argument that watching shows to escape reality could be made so you don't necessarily want to think about real world situations and real world, real world politics, etc. But that is not necessarily the case for everybody because obviously these shows have found an audience. This genre has found an audience. They have you weighing the good and the bad of the people's actions, which aren't usually portrayed in shows. It has you thinking the whole way and keeps you on the edge of your seat from the constant plot twists and parallels to the real world. It constantly has you thinking as if this were a real world scenario. These animes have both action, but that does not overweigh the psychological impact from the messages portrayed through this media. It becomes even more psychological through the different seasons and just has messages that are really impactful and really make you think about society as a whole. So there you have it, why I think psychological anime such as AOT, Code Geass, and Death Note are so good. I will try to post a video every month, however I restarted school, and I have to be studying like 24 seven, so it's a little hard to find time to work on the videos, but I'll do my best to find time and complete as many videos as I can and try to keep my promise on posting at least once a month. I have a couple uh, ideas for my next videos, I just have to get to basically making the video as a whole. But yes, like I said, I'll try to be posting at least once a month. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.